My name is Cody Jensen. I'm a research and development chemist at the Stratco Alkylation Tech Center. We created this video to give our customers tips and guidelines for analyzing their sulfuric acid. First and foremost, remember safety first. Wear eye protection and gloves at all times when handling the acid. Ensure that you're using centrifuge tubes and not just test tubes, and make sure the centrifuge is properly balanced when in use. Never add water directly to sulfuric acid, and only add acid into water. Other tips include keeping your centrifuge tubes in a container filled with a desiccant to reduce moisture. Never reuse disposable pipettes as the trace amounts of water left in the pipettes will skew your results. When sampling, make sure the system has been well flushed and take plenty of sample. Once you've taken a good, clean, representative sample, we want to minimize the exposure to the atmosphere as the sample will quickly pick up moisture and dilute the acid. Make sure that the acid is centrifuged prior to titration to completely separate any hydrocarbons still entrained within the acid sample. As best you can, make sure that the acid is analyzed in a timely fashion. We start by taking a clean centrifuge tube from our storage container that has a desiccant in the bottom to keep the tubes dry. Acid sampled from the unit may still have entrained isobutane, and it is recommended that you allow the sample to degas prior to transfer into the centrifuge tube. A few milliliters of acid is all that you need per sample. We use a small piece of saran wrap placed over the opening of the tube and scotch tape to reduce the exposure to the atmosphere. This is especially important if there's going to be a delay between the sampling and the titration analysis. To centrifuge, Put your acid sample into the sample holder and place it on the analytical balance. Tear the weight on the balance. Then take a centrifuge tube filled with water placed on the opposite side of your sample and add or remove water until those weights match. This will ensure that the centrifuge is properly balanced in its operation. Set a program or a timer to run the centrifuge for 10 minutes. Once the centrifuging is complete, remove the sample and use a disposable pipette to collect the acid. Note the hydrocarbon layer sitting on top of the acid phase in our sample. Put positive pressure on the pipette while going through the hydrocarbon layer to ensure none of it enters the pipette. Draw acid off the bottom of the tube. Once enough is collected, again place positive pressure while exiting through the hydrocarbon layer. Wipe off the outside of the disposable pipette to ensure no hydrocarbon remains. Even one drop of hydrocarbon in your sample can drop the acid strength measurement over 1%. Your sample is now ready to be titrated. With the pipette in place, tear the analytical balance and proceed to transfer about half a gram of acid into the sampling cup. This is usually about 15 drops. When the pipette is placed back onto the balance, the titration program uses the absolute value of the weight displayed. The sampling cup contains about 20 or 30 milliliters of distilled water, and we use a water bottle to spray the edges of the cup to make sure all acid is mixed into the water. After confirming the weight of your sample on your titration program, tear the balance and proceed to do this process two more times so that you can sample and triplicate. Using these techniques and best practices, you can get both accurate and precise acid titration data that can help you save on your acid costs.